Hey, what's up everyone? So I'll be doing a 48 hour challenge with the uh, Flutterflow. I'll have uh, two days to build an AI app. Um, yeah, so just to make a little bit of context, I've been using uh, Flutterflow for about a year now and I'm starting to be uh, pretty much uh, confident. So I will start with the, the idea that I have. It comes from a problem where uh, I recently moved out to my parents' house and um, I made a budget, but they didn't know if I was following it right because I was not uh, tracking my expenses. And uh, all the apps that I tried were not uh, suitable for my needs, let's say like that. Like, um, it was always too long to just log everything by hand. And uh, I'll show you an example of what I mean. Uh, what's different that I will be doing is uh, focusing on speech to text and uh, dynamic uh, classifying. So the idea is that I will be able to speak all the expenses in one go. Let's say I just came out of the grocery shopping. I just list a few things that I bought that I want to separate in different categories. Uh, OpenAI Assistant will calculate and classify each of them and uh, I'll put a list of these expenses. So an example, last Tuesday I went grocery shopping, it cost $213, but I spent 30 in alcohol and 45 in clothes. So it will be able to know when was last Tuesday, you won't have to go on your calendar and find what date it was. And you can uh, specify numbers and subtractions all at once, so it will output three different expenses and their uh, numbers accordingly with the correct date and the categories that you specified uh, that corresponds to your budget because um, like i said in my budget i had different categories that were not available in expense tracking apps that i tried and uh, it was always a manual input so uh, it was too long to actually use every day so uh, that's why i'm making this i'll be using flutterflow firebase n8n and openai this is pretty much uh, my, my uh, favorite stack. So uh, the main features that I aim to make in this, uh, this challenge is uh, being, being able to have default categories. So the first time you log in, you have like 20 choices of categories that you can uh, quickly add to your list of categories. I want uh, custom categories, uh, log expense with speech, categorization with AI, and a page to see overall if I have, uh, where do I spend money? So uh, let's start it. and. Uh, Let's see how it goes and I will update you guys uh, uh, every uh, few hours. All right, so I, I brainstormed a bit of uh, names. I will be using uh, Expensio AI for now. All right, so we're almost uh, one hour in and uh, I just finished setting up the authentication and I quickly created a page for categories. And uh, here I have the, the home page from the template. I also made the um, OpenAI Assistant with the, uh, I call him expense categorizer. And I made a quick description of how to categorize the uh, expenses. So this is uh, an example I did to try it. So it seems to be working, still missing the categories because I don't have uh, categories yet to, uh, to put him as an input. All right, so I um, started up. So we can test if the logging is working. I'll de endured everything and it uh, looks like it did not work. Oh, it worked because it, uh, it's saying that I already used the email, just didn't um, redirect me to the right page. All right, so I figured it out after uh, way too long. I took a quick break too. We're uh, two hours in. Uh, yeah, so I, you, know, I, you notice how I changed the page. I was a uh, Desperate for a solution, but uh, now it should be working. Oh, already used this one. So, yeah, it's working. Great. So the the problem was the um, uh, Firebase rules where they were not deployed. All right. So we're the next morning. As you can see, there's uh, 26 hours left. I've been uh, working since uh, around 9 9 a.m. So um, I made a bit of progress. As you can see, I made the N8N workflow. It's basically just a webhook that uh, takes uh, the audio file as an input, transcribes it, sends it to OpenAI, uh, the assistant that I made uh, yesterday, and it output um, the, the list of expenses and the categories. So if we go back to uh, Flutterflow, as you can see, I made a nav bar. So if I press the plus, I will be able to start logging my expenses. So let's try it. Yesterday, I bought $300 worth of groceries and the day before that, I went to the restaurant and it cost me 20 bucks. 
So then, as you can see, when I press uh, stop, you can see the steps are uh, being ran. So it's already transcribed and there it's finished. So I just uh, printed it here, so uh, it's easier to, uh, to debug. So this is working fine. And uh, what I will need to do after that is I want to uh, log the expenses. I'll, I think I just remove this, uh, remove this and I will uh, log all the expenses here with the uh, ability to uh, confirm if it was good or edit. So if there was an error, you would need to uh, manually check everything. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, I'll, I'll maybe work uh, an hour more. And uh, after that, I need to go uh, for the holidays to my parents' house. So I would allow myself to pause the timer and uh, do the second day another time. Because uh, if not, uh, I need to see it. it will be the end right now. And uh, I haven't uh, worked that much. So uh. all right. So I made the last bit of progress for the day. I'm going to show you uh, what I did. So when the user signs up, now he's prompted to uh, a page with the default categories to select. So I put a minimum of three. And uh, once they're selected, you can uh, the, the start button shows up. And once we click it, we are brought to the home page, uh, which I have not done yet. But on the categories page, you can see the categories have been added. All right, so I uh, started back the, the timer. I'm back from my parents' house. There's a little bit over a day left, so I'll try to uh, do this, uh, to speed run this. All right, so uh, I made a bit of progress. I just wanted to show you the uh, updated uh, NA10. So here's a, uh, there was a transcribing. There I get the, um, the categories of the user, so I can send them to uh, OpenAI here. And then I loop over the expenses that are returned by OpenAI. And I create a Firestore object. Make you a quick demo. So as you can see here, I have three expenses already. And these are the categories that I set up at the account creation. So if I want to add a new category, let's say I Let's see, uh, I went to the restaurant, it cost me $20, and the day before that, uh, I bought uh, water bottles for uh, 5 bucks. So now we can see the steps getting executed. And uh, now we got the result. And here, restaurant. Hey, what's up? So, uh, as you guys can see, the challenge is ending really soon. Um, I haven't recorded much today because uh, I I got a bit of problems um, during the, the, the development. So, uh, I will try to explain it quickly. So, uh, essentially, what happened is that I was using this uh, Google Cloud node to add the, the new expenses. But since they are, um, there's a document reference to another uh, collection, um, the node was not supporting it. So um, and it gave me a bunch of errors and uh, of problems. And I had, uh, I lost uh, at least a few hours trying to find a way to uh, bypass this. And uh, finally, the, the solution that I came up with was to use the REST API of uh, Firestore. So I had to do uh, this part over. It's not as I would like, but uh, it's pretty good for two days. So uh, I will create a brand new account and I will show you uh, what it looks like. So when you sign up, you can choose uh, some categories. I'll choose the choose them all. Then here is the home page where you can see your transaction. And there is the the second uh, in the app bar is the category page. So we can add new categories. Let's say I want to add the fast food. And uh, I made this that uh, we can uh, update them too. 
for some reason there's no the there's a bug and uh, that's pretty much it so let's uh, oh, I need to start the test workflow for it to work I will uh, log some expenses oh I'll show you the app so yesterday I went to McDonald's it cost me two hundred dollars and uh, the day before that I bought a new computer it cost me uh, 800 and uh, today I bought my uh, gym membership it was uh, $45 so I also made that you can continue to uh, navigate to the app even when the workflow is loading I put a small uh, loading here on the, the thing so as you can see uh, we got our results there's a bit of a overflow problem but uh, as you can see McDonald's it put it in fast food I don't know why I said 200 uh, I don't remember I said yesterday for McDonald's so the date is right for uh, the computer I said the day before that so the date is right too and for the gym membership I said today so uh, it's, it's getting pretty accurate and um, the amounts and everything work and uh, what I was working now is uh, to edit it so uh, you can see I can edit the name but uh, the categories is uh, it's uh, giving me the same problem I think as uh, when I was trying to create the object I think I'll continue to uh, I'll continue this project. I will. I will uh, update you guys probably in uh, another video. And uh, if you if you liked it, and if you have any other idea of what uh, I can do, uh, please leave them in the comments. And uh, it's my first video, so uh, I, it's normal that it's it's uh, pretty bad. So uh, don't be don't be rude. And uh, yeah, so I, I had fun uh, doing this project.